And when we find the zeros, what that means is that we're setting the output or the y value equal to zero. So you can see that this is zero equals x minus two over x plus six. Now there's a couple different ways to look at this. One way to look at it is the only way that this fraction here on the right will be equal to zero is if the numerator is zero, and that's basically it, right? So here you can see that the only way that this would be zero is if x equals two. So you can see that two is the zero. Now when we talk about zeros, what that means is that the y coordinate zero, so two comma zero means that that's an x intercept, okay? It's a root to solution, an x intercept is zero. These uh, terms are used interchangeably, but basically a zero means the y is zero, and the reason uh, it's an x-intercept is because you're not going up or down, okay? You're just going right to, but then the y-coordinate is zero. Now, if you don't like this method, what a lot of students will do is they'll say, well, zero is like zero over one. And what you can do is you can cross-multiply, cross that equal sign, okay? Just like working with a proportion. X plus six times zero is zero, and one times anything is itself. And so then when you solve this equation by adding two to both sides, you can see that x equals two. But the shortcut is just to set the numerator to zero. That's how you find the x-intercepts or the zeros. Okay, now for the second example, what you wanna do for this one is you want to factor the numerator and the denominator as much as you can. And the reason is is because if you have a factor in the numerator that cancels with a factor in the denominator, like you see here, x minus two, you're not gonna actually um, have a point on your graph at that point because what happens is it's actually a hole in the graph or what they call a removable discontinuity. So in all practical, for all practical purposes, these factors are canceling one another out and your basic uh, equation now is gonna look like one over x plus two. So here you can see that if you try to set the numerator to zero, like we did in this previous example, you can't really set a constant to zero. So what this means is that there's no zeros, there's no x-intercepts for this particular graph. Okay, there's gonna be a hole, and I talked about that in another video, you can check that out on graphing rational functions, but the way you would locate the hole is the hole will be at two comma, now if you put two into what's left over here, that's gonna be one fourth. But in this case, we're just talking about the zero. So let's look at the third example. Same thing, you wanna factor the numerator, okay, x minus four, x plus three, and you wanna factor the denominator, it's a difference of two squares, x minus three, x plus three. Again, notice that these x plus threes are canceling, so we're not gonna have a zero at negative three. If we set the numerator to zero, we're just gonna have an x-intercept at four or a zero at four. So this graph's gonna cross at four comma zero right there. So I hope this helped you to understand how to find the x-intercepts or the zeros when you're uh, graphing rational functions. Subscribe to the channel, check out some more videos on Mario's Math Tutoring YouTube channel, and I look forward to helping you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.